what are SSRI drugs? Okay. That's the abbreviation for Selective Serotonin Reuptake Pump Inhibitors, SSRI. Whoa, uh, that's a mouthful. Mouth to mouthful. So SSRI is kind of an easy way to explain something that we doctors don't understand. You know? <laughs> Great. Um, okay. So we get this uh, propaganda from the drug industry representatives who come and give us samples and wine and dine us and, and uh, don't Do tell us. Really? Yeah, that's mm -hmm. right. And okay. they don't tell us everything that we should know about using these very dangerous and, and, and addicting medications that alter the brain. Uh, if I had uh, uh, audiovisual aids here, uh, this is a three hour lecture that I'm uh, mm -hmm. trying to summarize here. But uh, those are chemical structures, chemical small molecules that are able to get into the brain and into the cerebrospinal fluid. And then they, uh, they, alter the what happens at the synapse which is where everything happens the connection between two nerves is where okay. these things work they disable the um, reuptake pump which is a pore that uh, sucks the and for instance serotonin in the case of uh, serotonin uh, reuptake pump inhibitors um, back in to be recycled well when the drug is in uh, in this brain it prevents the serotonin from being recycled, meaning it's going to deplete it eventually. While it's overstimulating the the receiving nerve from this other serotonin nerve, you can see why I could use a, a diagram here. Right, but you're getting more serotonin when you take only the drug. Only in you're getting more serotonin only in the synapse. Okay. But then, but because serotonin gets. Uh, not 100%, but close to 100% recycling. It gets used over and over and over again. When you're on the Prozac or the Zoloft or the Paxil or the Selex or the Luvox, you're not getting that recycling effect. So temporarily, you're getting more serotonin stone right. impulses on the receiving nerve. So you feel better for a while. Mm -hmm. But then because the serotonin gets def eventually deficient and it and it knocks off some of these the receptor sites, again, this is more easy to understand with the diagram, uh, you're altering the brain uh, at least long term, maybe permanently in some cases, but at least long term. So there are fewer receptor sites. You're getting depleted, running on empty on serotonin, which only comes from food, by the way. The only way to raise serotonin in the brain is to take a nu nutrient called tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan. It's only two ways to actually raise total brain serotonin. The, the SSRI is only uh, increase it in the synapse level, and that's temporary with a lot of damage being done. So that's why there's the Prozac poop out concept. Mm -hmm. All those drugs poop out, they stop working after a month or so. And so then you have to raise the dose. And now you're getting even more aggravation, maybe a little more effect, but again, that's temporary. So- um, But isn't that the typical pattern with um, all drugs, whether they're legal or illegal, that you have to take more to yeah, get the effect? That's right. Yeah, that's true, and that's uh, they call that tolerance. The mm -hmm. psychiatric term is tolerance. Uh, you know, it works for a while, and then your body gets tolerant to it, and it's, you lose its effect. So you develop a tolerance for these drugs. Yeah, so you have to increase the dose, and then if you mm -hmm. try to quit, your brain now is dependent. That's where the dependency term comes. Your brain is dependent on the drug, and you're now you're going through withdrawal. You're craving, or something's wrong, and mm -hmm. and the only cure is to take another hit. So if you're a cocaine addict and you run out your your supply, you're you're anxious, you're, you're searching everywhere for a dealer to get some more cocaine, or if it's Ritalin, which is mm -hmm. the same as cocaine, mm -hmm. molecular structure-wise, uh, you're wanting to get another prescription or go to the street. Um, and if you're a Zoloft user and you run out of your Zoloft and you're frantic to get another dose because you're withdrawing within a day or two or three um, uh, of these, some of these medications. So yes, they are addicting. Mm. Everybody. You know, if they take it for a short time, or if it's a low dose, or you're well nourished, perhaps, and not on any other drugs, maybe you can take it for a few weeks or a few months and then quit mm -hmm. cold turkey without a lot of withdrawal symptoms. But when you've been on it for a long time, or in high dose, or in multiple medications, you're, it's highly likely that you're going to have terrible withdrawal symptoms that may make it impossible for you to get off, or very difficult to get off without going crazy from the withdrawal. And we all know the picture of the heroin addict that they throw in a padded cell, you know, and right. he just sweats and he vomits and he has pain mm -hmm. and he's just miserable. And then he eventually, you know, may get a little bit better, but he probably hasn't. <laughs> That's not very good treatment. You know, he needs to be slowly withdrawn. 
He needs to be well nourished. He needs to be hydrated. He needs to have uh, some nutritional help. Mm -hmm. And yet, the, we we despise heroin addicts. You know, we despise codeine addicts, uh, but we don't despise Zoloft addicts or Prozac <laughs> addicts, do we? Or Ritalin addicts. That's totally acceptable. Yeah, it's the legal drugs. Uh, my best example, and I, I could show you the molecular structures of cocaine next to Ritalin. Mm -hmm. And the brain doesn't tell a difference. There's subtle differences there. One's synthetic and one's natural. But uh, the brain can't tell the difference between the two. Yeah. Cocaine addicts prefer Ritalin if they can get it in a snortable, a snortable form. It's a longer acting. They get the same high, same quick high as cocaine. Mm -hmm. Can't tell the difference. It lasts longer. So uh, Ritalin is probably more dangerous than cocaine if you take it mm -hmm. parenterally. Taking it by mouth, you know, you don't get this sudden high. It doesn't go mm -hmm. to the brain fast that way as it was injected or smoked or uh, snorted. Uh, but long term, the dangers are probably quite similar. So and yet, cocaine, uh, you go to jail if you're on cocaine or But you can write me a prescription for Zoloft and won't be prosecuted? Right. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs>